What is up everyone? My name is Dusty Mike. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a review over the Sony A7, but not just a normal standard review. We're going to do a review over using the Sony A7 as a vlogging camera. So this camera is a great camera for any vlogger who wants to take their vlogs an extra step. Get a nice and crisp video with full control over your videos, which results in more depth to your vlogs and the ability to make them more cinematically pleasing. So I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of the Sony a7 with the kit lens. For starters, it's not for everyone and it's not the most user friendly. For instance, there's no flip out screen. It just goes up so you can see it at a downward angle, which is kind of silly for anyone that wants to be able to see themselves and see if it's in focus. Which brings me to my next point, you have to trust the autofocus. And if you don't set your autofocus up properly, it often misses. I had a lot of trouble getting everything in focus when I first started vlogging with this camera. But if you go and switch the focus mode to continuous autofocus, and then change the focused area to flexible spot small, then select the spot directly in the middle, it'll work quite well. Unless you aren't directly in the middle, then it misses. If you can't tell, this feature irks me quite a bit. The camera is much bigger and heavier than your standard point and shoot vlogging camera. And I'd recommend using a monopod of some sort. This way you can get your shot a decent length away from your face as well as stabilize the shot overall. And lastly, the record button is in a really weird spot. So. On to pros. The picture on this camera looks fantastic. Secondly, for being a DSLR, it's really small and quite light and still packs a really good punch when it comes to video quality. The focus is actually quite snappy and hits where you want it to hit if you're behind the camera. It shoots at 60 frames per second, so you have the ability to do awesome slow-mo shots or just record your whole vlogs in 60 frames per second and get a unique feel. The depth of field on the camera is great, and the on-camera microphone is actually really good, which is something I never say about DSLR cameras. So when I first got the Sony a7, I got a shotgun mic to place on top of it, which you're actually hearing right now, and that shotgun mic is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, it doesn't sound bad, but I don't know. It's just not up to par with what I would like. The biggest issue with it is if I decide to record from behind, it gets some weird distortion. And not only that, but if I talk to the side of the microphone, then it sounds even worse. And then I decided to test out the on-camera microphone, which I was very pleasantly surprised with. Not only does it sound really good from the front, but it also sounds really good from behind as well. And you get a nice presence with it and not much distortion from behind. Yes, there are some perks of using an external microphone, but for the most part for vlogging, the on-camera microphone does great. You have the ability to upgrade the camera and change out lenses. And the photos on this camera are fantastic and it actually has a really quick sensor. It's full frame so you don't have a crop sensor and it's a mirrorless DSLR so it has really quick and snappy photos. And it has the ability to focus quicker and it does really nice motion shots. And lastly, you have full control over how your image turns out. And that alone was the reason I switched to DSLR vlogging in the first place. So in the end, if it did in fact have a flip out screen where I could see myself and make sure I was in focus, I would say this would be the perfect vlogging camera. But unfortunately it doesn't. So I have to have a secondary camera for quick and convenient shooting that I can use in different situations. But for the most part, I use this camera whenever I want to help convey the story in a better visual way. Overall, it's a great camera and a fantastic tool for anyone that wants to help step up their vlogs visually and help convey different stories visually. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Am I returning it? No. I'm gonna continue using it and I'm gonna continue enjoying it and loving the incredible shots I'm able to get with this camera and hope that they come out with a new model that fixes this stupid issue. But other than that, I'm completely satisfied with the quality of the camera. It looks fantastic and it brought our vlogs from here to here, personally at least. Maybe a little bit biased. But anyways guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different than what we typically do, but I had a couple requests to test out this camera and do a full-fledged review over it and let other vloggers know what I think of this and whether or not you should switch to it. And in the end, I wouldn't say switch to this camera, but I think it's great to use this camera to take your vlogs further. If you want to see any more of my tips or tricks, you can click the link up in the cards at the top. Or if you want to find more of me, you can also click the links in the cards in the top, as well as the links in the description below. Anyways, guys, that's it, and we'll see you later this week. See ya.